Hello everyone, Jeff the Green Review. Roses are summer blooming shrubs that bloom on the ends of the new growth. So spring pruning helps us to decide how many of those new branches we're going to have and which direction they're growing. We want as many as we can so we can have as many roses as we can get and we want to have them growing in a healthy direction. Some of these new branches growing at the base of this rose bush are growing towards the middle so they're going to cross each other. They'll be less healthy, they'll rub against each other which can allow insect and disease problems and having a whole bunch of growth towards the middle of the plant is a great place for fungus diseases to grow. So we want to have the branches growing pointing towards the outside. So as we're looking at these branches we can see some that are dead all the way down to the bottom and when we prune down towards the bottom we want to make sure that we're not having uh, any pruning down below the graft union. If the roses are on their own roots it doesn't matter how far back we go. All new growth is going to come from the root system or the crown and it'll all be the same genetic variety. If there's a grafted rose we want to make sure we don't go down past the graft union so that we don't get rid of all the good rows and just end up with the root stock rows coming up. If you're not in a severe winter area, your roses may not have died back very much. We can prune them down to about six inches high and with four or five buds on the branch so that we can get a lot of growth. Or we can just do some topping. The heavier you're pruning, the farther back down you go, the longer the branches are going to grow before they bloom, and which is good for having the you know long stem roses. If we just print off little short pieces here, it's not going to grow a long stem, it's just going to grow the normal little short piece to get back to the normal height for that rose bush. So we have light pruning where we just deadhead and take some small stuff off and we get new growth that's just short and, and it just maintains that height. Or we can do heavy pruning and go all the way back down and prune off the branches low so that we can get long stems some roses uh, that are climbing roses bloom on the short branches that come off of the long branches. So we have long canes and then we have short side branches. So the pruning on those in the spring will be trying to maximize the amount of those short canes. So we're not going to be cutting those short canes off in the spring because that's where the flower buds are going to be on the ends of those short canes. On roses like this we're going to prune back so we can get as much as we can of those branches growing to the outside. As we prune out the dead branches we look for new growth. This one doesn't have any so it can come completely off. This one has one that's growing towards the outside which is a good one and it has one growing towards the inside straight across through the middle so we will t cut that one off too. And here's another dead one clear to the bottom and another one. This one has one that's growing towards the inside but one slightly higher growing towards the outside. Okay, now that all the dead has been removed, we can see if there's branches that are growing towards the middle that need to be removed. This stem has one growing towards the outside and one growing directly across to the middle, so we'll be taking that one off. Mostly they're headed towards the outside, which is a good thing. For more information on rose pruning, see my rose pruning video in the pruning playlist on the Greener View YouTube channel. And you can get the a Greener View Gardening book, which has a lot of information about pruning and all kinds of different kinds of plants. Watch the playlist and read the book, and you'll learn a lot about pruning. It's really pretty easy. It's just scary sometimes, but for the most part, if you know the type of plant and when it blooms, it'll be easy for you to prune. And this is Jeff for the Greener View. Thanks for watching.